Hello and welcome back to Jilly's Nails. We are going to get started on a very detailed tutorial this time around. We've had some technical difficulties over here so we're going to get into the technical nail stamping stuff. The first thing you need to do when you have a new stamping plate is take the blue film off the top. You have no idea how many people don't do that. It causes problems. Take the film off. Then I'm taking some rubbing alcohol here and just wiping down the plate to get all the sticky off of it from that blue backing. That way it gives it plenty of time to dry before you stamp and you'll be good to go. We are going to use the eyes off of this plate. This is a negative plate or negative space plate. So what that means is where you see the eyes, that's the color that's going to show through. So whatever your base coat is, is going to be the color of the eyes on this. And the color that you paint over the stamping plate is going to be the primary color on the nail. So we're going to use black. It'll block it off and you'll see little green glowing eyes through there. We're going in with the Oont Peel Off base coat. Uh, we're going to put one coat on pretty thick so I can pop it off easy and uh, get some fun nails going. Does, don't you just love that lovely orange stain from that last manicure I did? <laughs> it's my favorite. Not so much. Uh, so we go in, we put the base coat on all the nails, make sure to cap the ends and let it dry. We're going to use this color from Sinful Colors. It's called Happy Ending. It's this beautiful green color that has a very pretty gold shimmer that runs through it. So up close when you're looking at it, and it, it's underneath that for the eye color, oh, the eyes kind of shine this yellowy green, almost a cat eye effect, or like the color of a, a tree frog. And you know how they kind of glisten and have that little golden undertone to them? They're so pretty, and this polish reminds me of that so much. I really love it. So we're going to put two coats of this on, as is typical, sinful colors. The lighter shades can be pretty sheer on the first go, but usually two coats will get it in there and uh, really make it look cute. If you just heard a weird noise in the background, my dog was yawning, and she's a dramatic yawner. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and coat all the nails with that color. I can't believe she did that. Well, I can, but anyway, <laughs> we're going to do two coats of color on all of those nails, letting it dry in between layers for at least a couple minutes to give it some time to you know solidify settle in um, nail polish is usually self-leveling and oh my gosh we have a cat quake there it is cat quake anyway nail polish is self-leveling so if you give it a couple minutes where you have your hands just kind of flat on a table it'll self-level and make itself all smooth and pretty so when you go to put your next coat on bam color payoff instead of looking like this milky putrid stained green that it looks on the first coat. It's awful on the first coat. The second one though looks great in person. So um, don't think that just because it looks crappy first time around it's going to look bad. It does not. It's a very pretty color. After we get that on we're going to go through with the Sally Hansen quick dry top coat. That one literally dries in one to two minutes. Love it. It is the best for a quick dry top coat. It leaves a really clear, glassy, even kind of thick layer on it, so I really enjoy that one. And then we're going to go through and just do all the rest of the nails real quick. Let those dry, and as they dry we're going to get ready for stamping. Now do keep in mind that all of these videos make it look like you can do everything super, super fast. No. <laughs> this manicure takes about 45 minutes if we're being honest about it and that's including dry time for the nails and this latex barrier that we're about to put on from Queen. I will have that linked below for you. It's about eight dollars and a bottle has lasted me easily over a year so it is a nice product to have to keep black polish off well any polish but especially black for me off of the cuticle area. So we're going to go through and put that on both nails and at, if you watch you will see that it turns into a darker pink. That's how you know it's dry. Yes, I repeat that a lot in my videos. I will probably continue to repeat it in my videos. want to make sure that I'm giving very good detailed tutorials for people. And that's a pretty important detail because if you stamp on top of it wet, it's going to squish everywhere and you're going to have a big mess. Speaking of stamping, I'm slowing this down so you can see how white my fingertips turn. You do not press that hard with any stamper, and especially this Ice Cube stamper from Maniology. It is fussy. It is not, in my opinion, the best one for beginners, but it is a good stamper. You just want to kiss, kiss, little tiny little kisses on it, and that's how you pick it up. 
So just a little rock, little kiss on the plate, pick it right up. You can either go straight up and down or you can kind of rock into it and rock back. Just make sure that it's the featheriest, featheriest, lightest touch that you can do. Again, this is a negative space plate, so we're going to go down the side. We're going to uh, swipe across first and see how that looks. If I remember correctly, I didn't like it, and I swiped down too just to make sure I had all the extra off. But this first pickup, I didn't love it. And if you watch Little Kiss, nah, mwah, kissy kissy, right there, it, it transferred. It looks pretty good. What you can't see is up close, it kind of has a couple little cracks in it where for some reason it just didn't pick up quite right. So I'm going to clean it off on my lint roller right there. And you can see how that looks. And if you're ever not sure, stamp it onto the lint roller first and you'll be able to tell if it's going to be a good pickup if you do it again. Because sometimes the plate will look like it has stuff all over it. Um, you'll think it's going to be this big smudgy mess, but when you actually stamp into it, it's perfect. So don't let it intimidate you if it looks a little messy. However it looks on the stamper, it's clearly what you're going to put on your fingers. I know that's a Captain Obvious moment. However, you would be surprised at some people who need Captain Obvious moments. So we're just going to kiss it down again. Light little pressure. Pick it up and it's perfect. Then I go through with my lint roller and start cleaning off the sides. And you can always do that. Just take your lint roller and kind of tap it into it or roll the stamper across it just a little bit. And then I realized I was being a moron and none of that is going to go on my nail anyway. So I stopped cleaning it up so I could press the stamp down. <laughs> so as you see, my nail now looks black. Well, as you can see when I stop moving my hands around everywhere and cleaning stuff up and doing all this stuff that is in the video. But we're going to clean up the mess first. <clears throat> I'm very particular about that because <laughs> I am notorious for sticking my elbow on a plate that still has wet paint. We're switching plates now. We're going to another design that has an owl on a branch. And you can see the owl's eyes behind it too. So the green is going to show up as owl eyes. It's a really cute little stamp. I enjoy it quite a bit. And I'm just coming over here and kind of tapping off the items that I don't want on there, like the little smudges or images from another design that I don't want on there. Then I'm just going to go in and press straight up and straight down on my nail. Now I will tell you this too, the polish on the darker finger was not dried very well when I stamped and it left a little smudge on it. Um, you know how the polish can kind of wrinkle up a little bit if you tap it or something. It kind of left one of those little wrinkles. And there is a trick that I learned from Kelly Marissa here on YouTube where you can lick your finger. <laughs> You lick your finger and then kind of lightly press over it in a different direction and it will take that smudge out. You just have to do it very lightly. Yes, you have spit on your hand. It dries. It's your own spit. There we go. We're cleaning it up. And it's just a very light little tap to push it back into position and you can't tell it ever happened. So keep an eye out at, and the picture at the end. I'm going to leave it up for a little longer than normal so that you can really look up close and you will not be able to tell where I smeared it. But you can see where I was correcting that smear was very close to the cuticle area. And a lot of times, if, even if you smooth it out and there's still a little tiny wrinkle in it, when you put top coat on it, it fills it in and you can't see it. So don't panic. If you bump it just a little bit, just lick your finger, wipe it into place, and thank Kelly Marissa for that tip. <laughs> We're going to do the same thing and float the top coats over both of these stamps. Keep in mind again, I always have a big bead on the bottom of my brush and I'm just using the brush to push that bead around. I am not dragging my brush through that image. There are two things that cause smearing, sometimes three. Let's get into that real quick. The first one is not stamping correctly. And the second one is dragging your brush through it. And the third and most important one, in my opinion, is not letting it dry long enough. You need to let these dry for two to three minutes before you go in and try to put a top coat on. And you need to make sure that you float it when you do. So here's the final image. What do you think? It reminds me of the Wizard of Oz where they're walking through the forest and there's those creepy owls and like their heads are spinning and there's all these little eyes popping up in the forest that they can see that are supposed to be creepy. It's super cute. Anyway, on the left hand side of the screen right now you can hit a button and subscribe. On the right hand side you can go into a playlist and check out my other videos. So let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and please give this channel a subscribe, a like, and leave me a comment on what you want to see in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.